So I seriously debated about whether I should share this footage or not, but uh, based on the criteria I often hear, if, if it's interesting and could be useful to somebody or somebody can learn something from it, then, then you should share it. So I kind of felt it met both of those criteria. Uh, the one thing I will say is in the, because of the way things played out, I actually don't have footage uh, from the end of the story of what happened. And, and actually it's because the lightning strike uh, completely destroyed the chest mounted GoPro I was wearing. So when the footage is done, I'll come back and, and just tell you the story about exactly what happened from there. And, and also sort of own up to all the stupid mi mistakes I sort of made along the way. So hope you enjoy the video. That is cool. Let's do this. Not a second try at this. It's a massive amount of water to cover in a shitty little kayak like this. Oh, plus, I've been dodging storms the last couple days, coming in and out. Actually, that's why I've got the waterproof housing on the GoPro, so I'm gonna try to speak up so you can hear me all right, but. Again, there's a storm I can see on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if that's blown past us or not. I'm hoping it has. And I'm hoping what in front of is in front of us is this blue sky. Certainly the water is about as calm as it's been all week. And hopefully we're gonna have a bit of luck today. So far not a single bite. Not one bite. Now, at some point, I will stop and jig these things a bit, but at this stage, I figure I'll flip them out behind me. Let them trail. Oh, is that rain? You're joking. It doesn't look too bad though, like it's just, just not sure which way it's coming. I'd rather not be out here in the rain, but I think what's in front of us is the good stuff. So we are going to persist and hope that this doesn't hammer us. this <laughs> oh I might regret this should I turn around just not sure which way this is coming from
too bad. Screw it. A real cold blast of wind. Uh, shit. We'll just stay close to shore. We won't go out too far. That'll be our plan. We'll just sort of not go too close to shore or go too far from shore.
so at the very end of that video, or at the, at the very end of what you saw in that video, uh, there was a lightning strike which happened off camera, but when I look back at the footage, I can actually see where it lit up the trees just off to my left. And I'll show that frame up now, and, and you'll be able to see how, even though you can't see the bolt of lightning, you can actually see the sort of trees light up from, from the lightning strike. It's hard for me to know exactly how far that strike was from me. It was, it was just sort of in the woods, just up the, the sand bank, just to my left. Uh, but when that struck, the, the GoPro then, uh, when I look back at the footage, it lost about six seconds of footage, came back on for, I don't know, a hand five, five or six seconds, and then died completely, never to be useful again. Now, I presume that was the lightning strike that did that. Maybe it was just the GoPro was at the end of its life and, and that's sort of when it happened to happen, but it seemed too coincidental to be you know, not caused by that lightning strike because it was sort of right in line with, with when that happened. Uh, after that, you see me stumbling up on the beach. I abandoned the kayak on the beach. I ran up through the forest. Uh, my idea was to try to find a house that maybe had somebody living in it that would give me some shelter. But uh, as I ran into the forest uh, there, just on the other side of the beach, all, all I found was sort of abandoned houses or holiday houses that had nobody in them. So I ran to the nearest road. I started walking up the road. And as I was walking up the road, I managed to get some, some coverage on my phone, of which I called my family. And they were only probably five minutes away. They jumped in the car and uh, they came and got me. I did think in a worst case scenario I'd be able to find a house to take shelter in or sort of hide up under the edge of the sandbank there where it sort of eroded away, but it was all a situation I really shouldn't have been in the first place. It was just a, just a completely ignorant move on my part. And when you do something like that, it's not really just something that can affect you by ending your life but it can ruin your family's life it can ruin your children's life it, it was just pure stupidity to go out in those conditions and it's interesting to look back at the beginning of the video and see sort of what i'm thinking through and just saying screw it and it won't be a big deal and in the end it was kind of a big deal and it could have been a much bigger deal than what it was so just luck in the end but i don't know don't be silly i think i've learned a lesson from this and that's sort of i thought if i put this video together maybe there'd be other people that might put themselves in silly situations like that and maybe you can just watch my video and and not put yourself in the same situation so anyways thanks for watching see you in the next video